accept the bulk as plan or the public option plan. Uh, it, I think that what's going to happen now is the battle is going to intensify. The money is going to start flowing more from the insurers uh, to the lobbyists and what have you. So what would you expect, having had all that experience on the corporate side, what kind of attacks and strategies can we expect from health insurers as the battle intensifies? Well, health insurers will want the, the box bill to be the main bill that, uh, that is used to uh, eventually get to the president. Uh, members of Congress, uh, or members of the Senate, will, will try to amend it to be, to be more like the bill that uh, is H.R. 3200, which is the, the primary bill on the House side. Uh, which is a much, much better bill. Not perfect, but far better. Senator Rockefeller has said that he's, he planned 17 amendments, uh, and he's a very strong advocate of the public option. And, uh, um, and Senator Bernie Sanders, who uh, uh, was on Keith Olbermann last night, uh, I think he too will, will introduce uh, some amendments. The insurance industry will, will do the best it can to try to promote this bill, and it will do that not so much uh, itself, because if it does, it will you know, tip its hand. Uh, and anyone who, in my view, who would, uh, who would uh, see the industry supporting this bill would be suspicious of it. So they work behind the scenes through uh, front groups that they set up and through their shills that I call them on Capitol Hill uh, to talk this bill up and say this really represents uh, as close as we probably can get to a bipartisan bill. The industry still is holding out hope that there could be something even worse than the August bill uh, through uh, uh, working more closely with Republicans. So I, I can't imagine why. But I, I, I'm saying that the Bucks bill represents kind of a worst case scenario, but I guess it could be even worse. Uh, they will be, uh, one of the things that the industry does not necessarily like is that over time, the subsidies that the government would, would provide people to purchase coverage would, would decline. And, uh, and they will certainly object to that because they'll want those subsidies to, to continue at a high rate uh, so that people can afford to buy their overpriced products. They will also try to uh, 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 make sure that the public option is, uh, stays out of the bill. So that's going to be, that's, that's job one, is to keep the uh, public option from being in the bill that goes to the president. What happens, uh, just, just kind of technically, uh, the House will ultimately have to agree on a bill. The Senate will have to agree on a bill. Uh, there will be different bills, and they, they may vary widely. Uh, and uh, then there has to be a, a conference committee that is named with certain members of the House and certain members of the Senate coming together and trying to work out the differences uh, to create one bill that will then go back to both the House and the Senate to vote on. 